Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancer, I am here to do your daily love update my darlings. Yay! Um, this reading is for the collective. It is not going to be for all of you, okay? So please just take what does resonate, toss out what doesn't. Um, you know the drill, right, Cancer, right? I love you guys. Thank you so much for being my soul tribe. We made it through 2021 together. I love that. Thank you so much. Ooh, yeah. Thank you so much, Cancers, for everything that you guys ha have been doing to help this channel keep growing, okay? Um, man, it's been an exciting year, and, and we, have, we have grown so much. Thank you for the likes, the subscribes, the comments, shares, everything across the board. Thank you guys so much. I love you all. Um, all right, Cancers. New Year's Eve day, right? What What's going on around your New Year's? Well, <laughs> the higher font is out here saying to your person, it's time for you to take some action and go after what you want, okay? Um, I, when the higher font comes out here, they're talking. They're, they're talking to your person. Your person's been trying to decide a path here, trying to make a decision between two people, I feel. But he, this person knows, your person knows what they want, okay? And the divine knows it too. They know who it is that they want. And they're like, you have to take action. Now is the time. And look at the stern look on the, on, um, the Hierophant's face. They're like, we're done with this, waiting around, just waiting around, waiting, blah, blah, blah. And they could be, this is usually waiting for your ships to come in too before you take some action maybe this person was waiting for money maybe they were waiting for a perfect opportunity or a sign from you right but the higher font is out here saying dude you don't have any time left whatever it is that you're waiting for you know you're there's never going to be any there is no such thing as a perfect moment a perfect amount of money a perfect this a perfect that you know, um, the divine's like, you have a chance. And you're, you, we know that uh, you want this person, and it's time for you to take some action, whether, whether it's a perfect opportunity for you or not. You know, they're like, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's just time to take some action towards Cancer, the Queen of Cups, right? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that's you. The most loving person, well, the most loving queen in the deck, right? The most loving queen in the deck. Um, your MO is love, being nurturing, being kind. This is who this person wants to go to. And they're being told to come and apologize and make it right. Um, yeah, that's what the higher font is really encouraging this person to do they're they've been on their butt for a while and now they're like it's down to like that's it you've got how many hands is he you've got two minutes right that kind of thing yeah um so they're like you don't you don't have any time left it's time to take some action if you want this person it's time to go do the right thing do the right thing and apologize okay to this empress all right that's you um every queen in the deck really this is the empress and the minor arcana you're out here high vibing you put a lot of work into you into this spiritual journey um like it's been a t it's been a tough ride for you here but look at you you've made it all the way up to the empress status you've got nine pentacles here the most you can have is ten you literally have everything that you need. You're really happy, high vibing. You're out here being single on your own, building an empire on your own. And I feel like with the higher font out here, this person was supposed to kind of like be at your side to help build this with you. Um, but they're using their intuition here. The divine's talking to them. They know they need to take some action. They want to come and apologize to you. Um, and you're in Empress status, okay? Could be dealing with the Virgo, with the Hermit out here, or um, you could be dealing with the Water sign or a Taurus. Uh, but this person's doing a lot of thinking. They're going within. I feel like 
they may feel ashamed um, of how they treated you in the past because I feel like this person, they underestimated you, Cancer. Um, right before the, the Nine of Pentacles is like, like not right before, but the Seven of Pentacles, you're very underestimated. They thought you had nothing. Then you flipped on this person into this. You changed your dress and you worked on yourself <laughs> and you followed the leadership of, of the divine and spirit and it's led you to abundance and enlightenment and high vibes, you know? You made it through the worst part brilliantly, okay? Um, and this person puts you in a third party. I mean, they're very ashamed, I feel, on, as to how they treated you. Um, going within, thinking about all of this, shining the light on their past behaviors and how things were with you, how they underestimated you. You know, giving a lot of thought maybe into coming forward and communicating with you. You know, how is this going to go? Right? We've got this person's trying to find the strength. Strength in reverse. They, they feel maybe like they're not ready to come forward. But the divine is saying you're, there's never going to be the perfect setup for you. Okay, buddy? So we, there is no time left. If you want cancer, you need to come and make it right with cancer. You know, I feel like they're saying here, I, I don't think I'm ready. I don't think I'm ready. I don't think I'm ready. Maybe this person isn't ready. They're, they're having a hard time finding the strength to come forward. Knight of Swords, but they're going to do it. Yeah, I feel like that's this is what they're having a hard time with, is how do I come forward and... Like, try to make things right after everything that I've done. Okay. Oh. This person, they could have had this. This connection could have literally be set, been sabotaged by a couple different things. I feel like the person that they, they went to instead of this, instead of you in Empress Energy, right? They chose a toxic individual in a toxic situation. That was about sex and sabotage. This person could have, you know, they could have had, like, I want to say sex magic, but it's more like, you know, um, being pulled in with sex and kept there with sex, right? They could also have picked up an STD here. And this connection was sabotaged because of it. Heartache and betrayal. Yeah, you were betrayed because of it. Yeah, I feel like they, um, it's almost like they kind of maybe used you as competition or something. Maybe they wanted to spice up their sex life or something. And so they, I don't know what they did. But yeah, there's, there's a blockage here definitely. And it's caused a lot of heartache, a lot of betrayal, third party situation crap. This person chose the devil and the hierophant is out here like saying, decide and take action on what you want. Because, you know, here's the thing. If this person has a decision. They feel wrapped up with the devil right now, but here you are as an empress. Um, so they do have to decide. They've got to make a decision here. I feel like there's been competition, lots of fighting involved in this devil toxic situation. A lot of fighting, competition, backstabbing, betrayal, possibly STDs going on, a lot of heartache. Your person's feeling like a fool, wanting to take a leap of faith and come towards you. Well, they need to take action on what they're deciding because whatever, like if they don't take action towards what they want, they'll, they'll possibly be stuck with this toxicity here, you know? I mean, not all of them have an STD, but I'm kind of seeing it that way, to be honest with you. I'm seeing that some of them do have a raging STD. Um, and that's how they were betrayed. There were too many, too many people involved. This could be a masculine um, that had a feminine, maybe, that contracted an STD. I don't know. 
clarify um, the sabotage here, this Five of Swords, clarify that. Yeah, they want to talk to you. They want to talk to you. They want to take action. This person's starting to boss up here. I feel like they've wanted to take action and talk to you for a while, too, but they've really been in their ego here, maybe. Yeah, now they want to come and make you an offer because they want they want to have a new journey with you. This is somebody I feel like you're going to hear from this person within the next couple of days. I really do, but they they may have a big secret. I don't know. Um, they've been with they've been playing with the devil. They, they if they've been playing with the devil this long. I feel like they, everybody has some kind of secret who's been with the devil, okay? Yeah, now they're choosing their star. That's you, right? You could be out in the public eye. You could be a, a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher maybe. You're leading and guiding others, right, to peace. You're very peaceful, nothing at all like this devil energy, okay? It's like complete opposite, and you're out here alone. This person is attached to someone else in a very sexual, sexual crap. You know? And you're out here alone, high vibing, being beautiful, intuitive, um, in the public eye. This is who they want to come and, and make this offer to is you. They're feeling like a fool for their choices, I'm telling you. Temperance angel here. Yeah, somebody's moving forward, I'm telling you. Somebody's coming forward here with the chariot. You could be with a, another cancer. I feel like this is your person's energy, though. I feel like you, they're coming towards their earth angel. I don't know what else to say. This is earth angel energy. They're coming towards you, cancer, really fast. They're, they're feeling very betrayed here, though, from this toxic situation. Um... I have not seen anyone sever anything here. I just know that they're they're being pushed to make a decision and come forward and apologize to you. Um, so they may still be attached to this devil, okay? Um, well, this toxic, whatever it is. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, any fire sign, um, another Cancer. Leo is out here. Um, I feel like if this is a Leo, they're completely messed up right now. Not feeling like themselves at all. Really kind of not knowing how to talk. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Sagittarius is out here, Aries. I've got the star Aquarius energy, but I feel like that's you. I feel like this is you, Temperance. I feel like um, also with this page of coins here, your person's really trying not to be nervous about coming forward. They really are trying to get the strength up here to move forward and have a victory here with you. I feel like, you know, the chariot is determination. All right, what else can you show me? Yeah, they're moving towards their empress. They're coming. They're coming. I feel like um, this person really wants to balance the scales with you. I feel like, I feel like though that this could have been a third party situation that they had to balance out. They they may have wanted to give to both of you. Or this could be, this empress here could be who they are already giving to. They may need to give them. Yeah, I feel like that's this person is going to be out in the cold. Whoever this person is that they're giving to in this toxic situation, they're going to be left out in the cold. Boom. 
They're getting left. They're going to be left out in the cold. They may want to try to be like deceive your person, be deceptive, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is somebody who has been. I feel like this is somebody who's been taking stuff, stealing, trying to steal money or something from your person. Guess what? They're not going. They're not going to be able to. They're going to be out in the cold. They're going to be out in the cold. Um, your person may have really um, supported this person very well, whoever they're with. I feel like this is the toxic individual that they're with, actually. And um, they look really spoiled. Because you're out here alone. This person is, they tried to take from your person, but they're going to end up out in the cold. And you're, per ooh, huh? bottom of the deck as your person comes and reunites with you. That's what I'm feeling like. Yeah, they're coming in. Chariot, Temperance, they're coming in for their Earth Angel to reunite here. There's another individual who's completely being left out in the cold after... Being all about money, I feel, or looking like they're all about money. Very spoiled individual there. Give me one more card for this. Yeah, Cancer, a lot is going on. This New, <laughs> this New Year's Eve, a lot is going down. Um, yeah, someone will eventually be left out in the cold. I feel like it's this toxic individual, not only out in the cold, like, without this person, but without the money as well, okay? I feel like this person went through, like, but they they may have an STD, so be very careful. I feel like they, they definitely want to come towards you, though. They definitely want to come towards you. They're coming to talk. They may open up like, hey, how you doing? And just see if like you answer them, you know? <laughs> I feel like they are very nervous. But if you do open up to this person with your healing energy, I feel like they're going to be coming forward. And someone else, this toxic, all this toxicity here is going to get left out in the cold someone's getting left out in the cold here cancer it's a third party situation and the divine is like no you have to make something right here yeah i feel like this is a committed person here i feel like this is your energy though they're coming towards you you're in queen of uh coins energy yeah missing an opportunity yeah they don't want to miss this opportunity the divine is like Go after this blessing in love, right? Third party situation. Things didn't go the way this person wanted them to. I feel like they were totally sacrificed you in this. Okay, I do. I feel like they sacrificed you in this. Hardcore. Hardcore. Very painful. And the divine is like, we know this is hard, but you need to reach out and make this right I feel like because this is the cup that they're giving them here this apology they're, they're urging this person to make all of this right with you I feel like in in the queen of coins energy this person may see you as like I said the one that they want to commit to look this is a marriage card building something solid cancer reuniting here coming together in happiness and joy right that's this with their queen of coins the one who is the most this is the most um most likely candidate to be married and committed this person wants to commit to you now they they the divine doesn't want them to miss this opportunity happiness King of Wands, you could be dealing with a fire sign, a Leo. Watching you out here doing amazing things. That's what I'm feeling like. But I feel like they're, they are about to do a really difficult thing. They need to confront everything that they've done to you um, and this connection in the past. All of this 
betrayal. Look at all that blood. They really stabbed you ten times in the back. Um, this heartache and betrayal, they sacrificed you. This person's going to have to um, walk across these. They're going to have to actually confront everything that they've done to make this right so that they don't miss this opportunity here with you. I feel like, you know, the King of Wands, this is a person who goes after their happiness. They totally know they have to do this. They totally know they've got to try to make this, make this better, apologize, do something. Yep, and here, bottom of the deck, King of Swords. Could be dealing with a, you could be dealing with multiple people. But I feel like this is somebody who, that's just too many, Divine. This is somebody who, um, like, I, like I've said before, puts a lot of thought into what they're going to say. That's what this person has been trying to do. How do I fix this, though? It's almost like they, they kind of get the strength and then they lose the strength. Get the strength and then they lose the strength. It's like, okay, I got to do it, but how? And then they're like, I don't want to do it because, you know... This is something that's hard for them to do, is come forward. And, I mean, look at how badly this person freaking betrayed you. Look at, ever, look at the blood on your back from all of the backstabbing that's been done to you. Like I said, you could have multiple people that need to come and apologize. But... Um, I feel like they, they kind of get to the point where they're feeling okay enough to do it, and then they get scared again and back out. But they know that um, they know they have to do it. They can see that pretty clearly, that they've got to do this. Yeah, this person needs to make their decision. And they need to take the action. And that's, I, that's just how it is. They, I feel like they can't really get out of it or they're going to be stuck in, in toxicity. Yeah, they shouldn't have walked away. They sh this person sitting here like, I just should have never walked away from cancer. I should have never walked away from cancer. Yeah, because now they've got to come back in and make it right. Right, that's what they're that's what they're thinking about anyway. <laughs> Today, I've got to come back in and make it right. I should have never left in the first place because they went through nothing but hell here. They lost a lot. Um, I feel like pampering somebody who really was taking them for money, using sex maybe to take them for money. For some of you, your person got an STD. Um, betrayed maybe even by friends. All right, what else can you show me here? What do they want to say? What does Cancer's person want to say? One card at a time, Divine, please. What does your person want to say? What does Cancer's person want to say? Just let them know. I can't figure out why you trigger me so much. The life I'm living, it's not going how I imagined. What did I say before? It just didn't work out the way they thought it would work out. Nothing, nothing went the way they wanted it to with the choice they made. So now they're, that triggers them. It's like, well, I, I, and that's part of the triggering, okay, is that fear. I need to talk to cancer. But wait, I'm scared. How do I fix something like all of the crap that I've done to cancer? You know, then they, you know, it's just they're constantly triggered. They're constantly triggered to come and talk to you. But then they kind of back out because what they have to do is so difficult. Uh, they, they don't know how they're going to fix this. And I feel like that's why it's taken this person so long. They keep, like, getting afraid. All right. 
and they're wondering if you still love them. I feel like this person's afraid of rejection, too, for all that they've put you through. Seriously. But, hey, it's not like they didn't reject you pretty harsh, right? Look at that. Now they're afraid of getting, you know, rejected. That's that's one of the things that's stopping this person. I'm looking for a sign from you that you still care. See, yeah, they're looking for a sign from you then. That's what they're hoping for is some kind of sign that that you're not going to just turn them away and, you know, yell at them and scream at them and, you know, um they don't know if it's safe to come to you and apologize because of all they did. This is that fear, right? This is that fear, wanting to come to you, but... When I said I didn't love you, that was a lie. Yeah, this person is in love with you. I'm slowly making my way back to you. Yes, they are, Cancer. I'm telling you, they're coming to make things right. They're just scared. But I feel like this person does need to heal from the toxicity and I and use your discernment because um, I do feel like somebody's going to be left out here, and I feel like it's the person that they're that the karmic that they're currently with. But. Um, Use your discernment with everybody who comes close to you right now. You know that, though. Um, but anyway, Cancers, yeah, listen, that's what I've got for today. I'm going to check back in with you guys, though, later. Um, give you guys just like a, a little New Year's read, right? Because um, I love you, Cancers. Anyway, yeah, this is where we are with your person. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates for you. Um, if you guys like this video, please click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow, and until next time, Cancers, take care of you, and peace out.